Nines, three, two, one, go. Lots of Lafayette area teams in this match. Keep an eye on both sides of the field. Specifically, Purple Precision, that's 3176. They currently are ranked three with an average ranking point of 3.1. They do need to get balanced and autonomous to get an additional rank point during this match, which their team has been able to successfully achieve along with the Red Alliance. 4926 making quick work of their playing stations. They're making their way over to their loading dock, interacting with their human player to collect a cone from up above. Most teams are electing to do that this season since it's hard to pick up game pieces off the ground, especially those cones since they're reliant on their orientation. 8742, I believe that's Argyle Attack making their way over to their red grid to score a cube in the low part of their grid. That's two points for their alliance if they can get it all the way across that line. 3176, purple precision on the blue line side, looking to place a cone on the top of their grid, successfully placing it for five points for their alliance. 646 now making use of their loading zone and their human player station to collect a cone from the top of their grid. Some bread on blue bumper action. We'll, we'll see that throughout the day, especially as we move into the playoffs later this afternoon. 461, another team to keep your eye on from the all offhead area, is collecting to take a cone from their human player station. They have a unique mechanism that allows them to pick it up from mid ground and place it in just about the same orientation into the grid. Just over a minute remaining in the match. 5402, that's Reckless Robotics. Currently is ranked 30, so looking to win this red match to bring it up their uh, ranking point average. Well, let's take a look at how many links we've formed. We have met the cooperation bonus, so that ranking point has been lowered. The Red Alliance is one link away from getting that additional ranking point, where the Blue Alliance is only two. Remember, our link is three game pieces in a row. They have 30 seconds left in this match. So to see how many are able to successfully complete that and get that ranking point. We'll start to see robots moving towards the charge stations. As long as they're in contact with it, they get extra points, but they do need it to be level to get 10 points per robot that will be up on there. The Red Alliance might be attempting that. They have 11 seconds to complete it. The Blue Alliance already sitting with two robots balanced. It looks like they're pretty happy, but their teammate is hoping to place one more cone before the time finishes. Two, one, and that was the end of qualification match, 53. Here are your scores, qualification match, 53. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 144, just above Blue Lines is 123. They gained four ranking points, allowing 460 to one and all of the Red Alliance members to increase their ranking score average, increasing their rank in the competition.